What is up YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back. So today I'm going to take another look at IU. Uh, and this song is Dear Name. Uh, this is an older song of hers, but it packs a lot of importance. Um, as I've uh, kind of looked more into her, I've been so impressed with her story and how hard she's had to work to get to where she is now and all the struggles and you know, being rejected 20 times from, you know, when she was young and, and then, you know, I think I even a uh, situation where she got scammed out of money, which she was trying to still trying to, you know, get stuff done and, and, um, and then kind of, you know, just managed to pull herself up by her bootstraps, as they say, and which is impossible, but that's a different story. Um, and just, um, I've just been so impressed with her. Uh, and looking into her story, uh, she had uh, she had several people that were close to her in the industry um, that died uh, from suicide, which apparently can be a really big problem. And it's always a big problem in entertainment industries across the world. Um, and um, and uh, her friend, she had a friend pass away. Uh, and then shortly after that, um, she had another friend, Suli, who also passed away, committed suicide. Um, and she found out, I believe uh, my information is correct. She found out at this concert. Um, I'm not sure it's, it, somebody said it was right before she was ready to sing or something, but, um, subsequently this was, pointed out as kind of one of her most emotional performances of this song. Um, and, you know, at a later date, I can talk about more about it because uh, I looked into Suli and kind of her whole story and everything. Um, but this has English subtitles, which I thought, okay, this will be a good one to check out. Um, so, uh, Dear Name. And Dear Name has been used, it's, it's almost like a tribute song within the K-pop industry. Um, I, 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 I would put it in there like with One Sweet Day, um, the Mariah Carey Boys to Men song that a lot of people sing uh, when somebody's lost. So yeah, let's check this out. Yeah, so this sounds like she did find out that pretty, you know, it's maybe right, right before she did this. Um, she definitely has these emotions she's trying to convey to the fans and how she loves them. <laughs> The one thing that was said about this performance uh, when I discovered it existed was that everybody could tell she was really struggling with her emotions. Cause 
don't understand a word she's saying, but you can feel, you can feel what she's saying. Um, I have looked at the lyrics to the song, so I know what it's about and kind of how it goes, but I, I don't know Korean, so I can't really put it together at the same time. But yeah, she's really uh, putting her heart into this. tell there was that point where she kind of there was a, a piano part she was just quiet with her head down you could see her breathing heavy she was really holding it together she's just on top of that she's a really strong person and again like i said you know some are, you know a lot of her life experiences have led to her being a strong person um and just how she's picked herself up every time people have tried to knock her down um and so, yeah, she's a national treasure, you guys. She's your national treasure. Um, I hopefully I'll do some more stuff of hers. Um, I'm just uh, I'm just intrigued by her. I think she's she's awesome. Um, so yeah, it's uh, 
it's a it's a reminder of kind of the things that people go through, you know, and that, uh, you know, we need to look out for each other and, that, you know, you never know when somebody's hurting and uh, they decide to take the ultimate uh, plunge and just leave us. So anyway, uh, leave a comment down below. I'm sure there'll be some about this. Um, and if you found this interesting, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye.